Here I have uh, three SQL Server instances which are connected to the extra guru domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement this is my primary uh, New York server. This is my secondary New York server. And this is my uh, distribution server I'm going to implement. Um, so this is my publisher which is uh, primary New York and this is my this uh, subscriber server. So this server is going to receive the data and in this demonstration I'm going to apply the remote distribution server. So this uh, server is going to be act as a distribution server. So first we have to create a snapshot from this. We have to get the publications with the different articles and we have to push those data into the uh, primary underscore uh, Florida server which is a distribution server. Then I can push the data from here to the subscriber which is located into the um, New York server. So what we can do is we just I just created a database name which is AdventureWorks 2014 um, DW replication and here we have a tables which are most of them are dimensions and facts so don't worry if you are not familiar with it but I'm just trying to show you that to identify we get the new tables so most of them are dimensions and facts here so as soon as if I push the data I'm going to select the adventure works 2014 so I'm going to select the few of the tables here and then we can push that as soon as if I push the data we can we should see these tables into the subscribers so first when we implement any of the replication process first we need a central distribution server because I can select the publication but I don't know where to land my publication data so that's why first we need to configure the distribution server then once you configure the distribution server then you can get the publication and then you can push your snapshot so as I mentioned this is my distribution server so I'm going to configure the distribution server in this location so if I expand the server instance you can see the replication folder and currently I do not have any distribution so as soon as if I right click you can see it is giving you the option which is uh, configure the distribution server so as soon as if I select this now you can see the next option and you can will act as own distributor so I'm going to if I want to create uh, configure the distributions and I have to select this is my distribution server if I already have any distribution server then I can go into connect but we do not have any distribution server so but you can see the server you select I have must configure but currently we are just configured this one as a distributor so that's why I'm going to select the first option then click next and here is the folder where you are going to uh, create a snapshot folder so as soon as we generate the snapshot this folder is going to show you generate the snapshot folder file so I just have um, uh, any one of the uh, basic uh, location so I think I already implemented this so you can see I'm going to select that click OK and I just created one shared drive which is basically XTG uh, prime fold uh, prime underscore uh, FL this is my um, basically Florida server location okay, let me see the maybe this okay this is underscore not a dash sign so 
so this is my distribution folder which I already created so I'm going to delete this so this is my folder where all my snapshot is going to land on this location so I'm going to provide the snapshot folder location so you can see this is the folder as soon as if we run the snapshot it will generate the files into this folder then click next then you can see as I mentioned that uh, the distribution database will create in the distribution server so this database will uh, major role to receive the data and send the data from uh, distribution to across the subscriber so I'm going to keep as it is with the same name and then click next then you can see we, you want to create add a publisher onto this server currently we are not adding any publication publisher into this we are just configured the distribution uh, server so I'm going to click next then you can see the configure the distribution and I'm going to click finish option so as soon as if I finish this my distribution is configured into this server so to identify that I'm going to refresh this and if I right click I don't see any configure the distribution properties here you can see I can see only distribution properties I don't see the configure the distribution option so that's why I'm going to right click and click on to the distributor properties there you can see the options if you need to uh, connect the any publishers into the server then you can click on to the add and you can add it here or you can go to the publication server and you can create that but I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a SQL server publisher here so what is our publisher this is our source which we are going to use as a publisher XTG primary New York server so I'm going to select this this server I'm going to add as a publisher server and so then I'm going to select the one second So here if I go back again uh, properties so here we have to create a password then we have to apply this password whenever we connect into this distribution properties and I'll, again you can add those uh, SQL server publisher so but let's create a password here I'm going to create a password for the distribution properties whenever I add my publisher then I have to enter this password to connect to the distribution server so I'm going to click OK then you can see now I'm going back into the my publications and I do not have any publications into this folder and we are selecting the few tables from the uh, source from the adventure worlds and this is our publication database and we are going to select a few articles into particular publication group so to do that first we need to go to the replication and select on to the publication folder and right click you can see the new publication and select into the next option here you need to select what database you are going to select for the publication so I'm going to select adventure works 2014 then you here it is going to ask the option what uh, replication you are going to work so for in, currently we are focusing on a snapshot replication so the publisher send the snapshot of the published data into the subscriber or the schedule interval so I'm going to select the snapshot publication then here the articles as I mentioned what articles you are going to select either tables or store procedures views and you can send to the user defined function so you need to know that these are the articles you can send and the interviewer may ask you can I send the user defined functions or stored procedure through the replication process then answer should be yes so I'm going to select a few tables uh, then select any of the random tables so we are going to select a few tables then click next then you can see here 
if you need to filter any of the tables then you can apply the particular select statement onto the individual table so this is very important also that for example your application has a person detailed information the application stored SSN and all the credit card or some other information so we don't need to send all those those are the security and we should not send those details to the uh, users who ever need to analyze the data so to do that scenario we can filter the particular uh, select statement and we can select only a few columns and instead of applying into the all columns level so but currently I'm not going to apply any filter but it's if you're required then you can apply based on the select statement then this is one of the important that as soon as if I create my uh, snapshot agent, uh, snapshot replication, then do you want me to run the snapshot agent immediately? So if the snapshot agent run immediately, what will happen? It send the data from the publisher to the snapshot folder, then it will generate the files there. So I want to run immediately or you can schedule the time frame maybe or maybe you can uh, configure the replication today uh, as a Friday then you can run the snapshot on weekends because the snapshot is also consume lot of resources to send the data from the publisher to the distribution so I'm going to select the generate the snapshot immediately now here you can select the security options how you want to run uh, from your local laptop then you can use the run under the simple local uh, SQL server security agent but in the real time you have to apply the username and password because this is the secured for the domain account so currently we have uh, uh, extra guru and I'm going to apply the XTG DBA one this is our uh, uh, user who have a full admin rights for the, across the all servers so I'm going to add this account and I'm going to run my SQL server jobs uh, whatever the replication snapshot agent or log agent I'm going to run under this account so then I'm going to click OK then this account is only run and we should not give any other permissions to run that so this account is a secure and which is created by the domain so you can provide the publication name so make sure the naming should be very important and also whenever you select the publications you cannot select all of them if you have a high volume of data so you have to select few of the tables as a group then prepare the name like we are selecting some person tables today so I'm going to give the person a replication data so I can pre, uh, prepare the person replication data